investment appraisal. We'll start with looking at what non-current assets are. So, assets in general, they are resources that a business or an individual owns by way of having the legal right of being the owner or that resource can be controlled and by virtue of the fact that the business or individual owns or controls the asset, it must yield economic benefit in the future to the holder. So a resource will qualify as an asset if the entity or the individual owns it, meaning they have gone through the right processes to become the legal custodian of the assets. So they have every right for it. They have paid the purchase price or they inherited it or they control it. They might not necessarily be the owners of the asset, but they have also gone through the legal process to be the person that directs the usage of the asset. Now, asset is categorized into two. We have current asset and non-current asset. Current assets are expected to be converted within a year into a cash. So the technical word is expected to be converted. Examples will be inventory, receivables, short-term investment, and others. The reason why we are using the word expected is that inventories, in as much as they are expected to be converted into cash within 12 months, it could transcend that period. It still makes it a current asset because the expectation for which it was brought into the business, for which it was acquired, ordinarily should have been converted or sold. If you sell an item to a customer and it is unpaid, you expect the customer to pay up or that debt to be converted into cash within 12 months from the time that debt was accrued. Okay, same with short-term investment. It is supposed to mature within a year. If it's supposed to mature outside a year, it ceases to be a current asset. Now, current assets, on the other hand, cannot easily be converted into cash within a year. If you do so, it is possible it will lose its value. So you buy a vehicle to use in your business operation and you expect it to last for five years. And then within one year, you want to sell it. You might be in a haste to do so. So it is possible for you to get a value lower than what you would have sold it if you had gone through the right processes and had time on your hand. Non-current assets are supposed to last for the longer while in the business, more than 12 months, okay? And they are also supposed to be used to help the business generate income. So a business buys a machine which it will use to produce in order to sell to make revenue. A school will have a bus that is supposed to shuttle its students from their abode to the school's premises and back that is supposed to augment the activities of the school and make it viable for people to study there. Examples of non-current assets are buildings, vehicles, patents, long-term investment, etc. So non-current assets can be tangible, which are assets that you can see, touch and feel, and it can be intangible, those that you cannot see with your eyes. Example, softwares, patents, and the like. Now, a critical distinction that we have to draw here is that pertaining to the business activity, an asset can be current to it. That same asset can qualify as non-current to another. For example, a showroom that sells cars, that car that has been bought is expected to be sold within a year that is being converted into cash. So it will qualify as a current asset. That same vehicle to a school which has been bought to either shuttle the student from their houses to the school or is supposed to serve as the official vehicle for the proprietor. It's not supposed to be converted into cash within 12 months. It's supposed to help the school's activity over a long period of time. So it qualifies as non-current. So you can have buildings becoming current to a real estate agency and non-current to a manufacturing company.